Hey, it's great to be with you again today. And I want to ask you a question. Has your life turned out perfectly, exactly the way you thought it would turn out? Everything's gone well. Nothing's gone wrong. There's been no disappointments. Or have things gone sideways at times? Have you been angry at God? Have you been disappointed with God? Have you questioned God? Have you doubted God? And I think that we can look at our past and we can all say, yeah, yeah, things have not always gone our way. And there's been times when we've wondered about God and wondered what he was doing and why didn't he act in certain ways and step in and save us, right? I love the story of Moses. Moses uh, is raised in Pharaoh's chambers and he murders a guy and runs away. And he's in the wilderness for 40 years. And he's just, uh, right? Tending sheep, doing a great job. And all of a sudden God pops up in a burning bush one day and says, hey man, I want you to go back to Egypt. And Moses is like, no, 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 you got the wrong guy, buddy. And God says, no, I got the right guy. You need to go back and you're going to save the Hebrew people. And he goes back and he does all this stuff with Pharaoh and the plagues come. And finally, they get the people free and they go out and all of a sudden now Pharaoh is going to kill them all, right? Sends his army after him and Moses is like, are you kidding me right now, God? Like, seriously? And God says, hey, go and raise your staff above you, above the Red Sea. And the waters part and they go across. And then when Pharaoh's army tries to go in, the water crashes down. But here's the thing. They then go on a journey that should take weeks to accomplish, but it takes 40 years. And in that time, the Hebrew people questioned Moses and threatened Moses and were angry at God. And every time... Moses went back to God and he argued with God and he bartered with God and he, right? And he was involved with God, even though things weren't working out the way that he hoped they would, even though things were going south sometimes, he still stayed in communication with God and kept talking to him. Even when he was mad at him, even when he was disappointed with the way things were going, he kept in communication and God provided water and God provided manna and God provided quail, and God provided all of these things that the people needed because Moses kept coming to him and saying, okay, God, here's what's happening. This is what I need. Can you provide for us? Can you provide for us? And God always answered. Now, didn't always answer it the way Moses thought he would, he didn't always come through in the nick of time. He always didn't come through when Moses wanted him to, but he always came through in some fashion. And then at the end, right, Moses uh, has done everything that God has asked him to. And finally, Moses is getting ready to die. And God says, I'm not going to let you go into the promised land. He said, but don't worry. You're going to see it all. It's going to be awesome. Don't you know that in the New Testament, Moses pops up on the Mount of Transfiguration with Elijah, with Jesus? Moses was rewarded in the end, right? He got to see the land just from a different perspective and in a different time. We need to stay true to God. Even in the midst of our disappointments and our anger, all of our frustration, God is still working. We just don't know how. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen. Amen.